Oh, hey. What up, folks? It's your boy. How's it going, man? Another day, another walk, another talk. Heading out, doing the thing. Trying to burn a little calorie action. Walking at work. It's a nice day out here today. Nice and sunny. Feeling pretty good. Overslept this morning like a champ. Didn't get up till damn near 7.30. Had to race out the house. Skip breakfast. But fortunately, I had packed my lunch the night before, and I ate that for breakfast. So, hmm, what will I do about lunch? But I caved in last night. Bought H1Z1. Oversleep, boys. You right. You right all day, Hutch. Bought H1Z1 last night. I keep seeing all these cats on Beam playing it, and I'm like, Man, y'all got to make me buy that game. So, it's on sale. Yo, UK Night Owl, what's going on, man? Yeah, H1Z1 is on sale for like 13 bucks, and I was like, all right, fine. It's going, man. Did 30 minutes of walking. Nice. Trying to, I got, I, I have a 15-minute break in the morning. Then I got lunch, and I got another 15-minute break in the afternoon. And it's pretty much timed I could walk around this whole office complex in about 13 and some change. Oh, no, oversleeping. <laughs> nice. <laughs> As it, like I was dead asleep, too, man. My wife wakes up. Oh, my God, Nathan, it's 725. Because <laughs> she's got to leave, like, way before me. My work is only about 10 minutes from my, from my house. So for me, it's not a big deal. All I got to do is just get up, throw some pants on, Put some pop tarts or something in the microwave or in the toaster for the kids, and we head on. Whereas my wife, she's got to get up and drive like a half hour to work, and she's like, "I got eight o'clock patients. I gotta go." <laughs> I was like, "Sorry, wife. <laughs> Have a good day at work. I hope track on the interstate's not too bad." What can you do though? Overslept. It happens. Surprising though, because her alarm on her phone is hella loud. Oh, jeez. I wish I could work from home. Hey, man, thanks for that. Yeah, working from home, working from home certainly seems like it has its pros and cons. Like, I feel like it'd be cool to do it, but at the same time, I, I'm like, dude, I'm afraid I would just be useless and I wouldn't do anything. I would just be sitting at home in my underwear or I would just be playing video games all day. Unless it's like a, Unless your job is like project based, where somebody just assigns you work. Hey man, I need this done by this day. Yeah, working from home is the tip. You set the pace, do as much or as little. Yeah. But like if you gotta be in a call queue or working on punching a clock, yeah, screw all that. I'd rather just go in the office for that. You know, at least I know that I'll be forced into some sort of regular fashion and that's kind of where I'm at now like I don't have to take a lot of calls um, but I do take some the good news is is I don't take calls from my like, customers or uh, end users I take calls from other telephone companies and talk to them or or our own techs hey what's up Steve welcome to the chat what's also nice I have a call queue but it's not like, oh yeah oh yeah because you do like IT right or tech support or something. I can't remember. I know you told me before. What's going on, fellas? Limit wobs. What's up, man? But, uh, yeah, I mean, I'm kind of, you do, well, I think, don't you do IT or something? It tech sports. Is, yeah, yeah, yeah. What's up, wobs, man? Good afternoon. Shoot, it's the morning for me. Still, technically, I guess. It's close to me. Um, yeah, I, uh, like, you do traditional IT, I guess, is the best way to put it. Like, I'm working on the circuits to carry what everybody else is riding on. So, I'm, like, level three IQ, IT, IQ, <laughs> I guess. Um, but, you know, like I said, I'll deal with, like, AT&T and CenturyLink and uh, Verizon Wireless and uh, who else? Sprint. I deal with a lot of like cell tower traffic, even though I don't work for Verizon Wireless. Uh, a lot of their traffic still runs over our stuff, so 
I take calls from text when the stuff is down and help them get it back up. So it's pretty cool. It's nice. The pay is nice. But I do miss working in the field. I do miss being outside on days like today. You know, it sucks being trapped inside an office all day long and having to deal with listening to other people talk and cough and sneeze and ugh. It's like, I wish I could be outside by myself. Headphones in, music on, just straight chilling. That's a good time, but so that's, that's what's up with me. What's up with everybody else today, man? Hutch? Wobs, man? I know Hutch is hyped for, well, Hutch going to be busy working MAGFest, but I know you're hyped for it. Wobs, you going to MAGFest? Getting back into that office like, oh, yeah. But development's cool. Like, development, you get to work in that project mentality where it's not a matter of, oh, is the customer coming? Oh, do I need to wait for them to call me? And, oh, do I got to be tied to this phone? It's like, no, no, no. But Hutch, yeah, why, well, Mag's going to be sweet. I'll be up there Wednesday sometime in early afternoon, so. But, yeah, development's cool, man. I wish that I had realized at a younger age how much I enjoyed stuff like that because then a a I maybe I wouldn't have done so much drugs in high school and gave a shit for one so I could get into two I could get into a good college and could have got myself some knowledge and got myself a better job I mean don't, don't get me wrong I got a pretty sweet gig now for like barely having any college education and uh UPS man. Yeah. Well, and that's like, I've, and I've had this happen, and I've seen it happen to other guys in my in my office where, you know, you think you're about to go home. It's like four o'clock. Boom, the phone rings. What happens? You got some tech with a shitstorm out in the field. Everything's on fire. Nothing's working. Customers pissed. Blah 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 blah. What do you do? Stay there till like 8 o'clock on the phone trying to troubleshoot this thing. And the worst part is, and Hutch, I'm sure you can attest to this. The worst part is that you're at the desk, right? So you only have so much remote access to what is going on and what you can touch and what you can mess with. And you have to rely so heavily on the tech in the field or at the site or whoever else to know A, what they're doing, and B, that they're not just lying to you and saying that they're doing it just to dump the work onto you. And you just spin your wheels the whole time, and then it turns out that, you know, it was something simple in there and they didn't pay any attention to, because they were convinced before they ever called you that it was something that you had to do. So they had already worked the solution out in their head and that they were gonna call you and that you were gonna fix it, and they were gonna wait, and then they were gonna complain, blah, blah, blah. When the whole time it's like, yeah, dude, you know, you got an open on one side. Ooh. This card's not right. Ooh. You know, it's not plugged in all the way. Ooh. You get a bad test set, et cetera, et cetera. Like all this crap. And there's no way that you can know it. You just have to. It's one of the things like you, you know it because it's the only thing that you don't know. Like you've gone through and you proved everything else is wrong or right. And the only thing you're coming back with is, well, these are the only things left that will affect it. And these are the only things that we can't check. So we just have to assume that, you know, X is bad. So change it. Precautionary change. Or, you know, this is my best guesstimate. You do it. And hopefully it works. And hopefully everybody wins. And you go home and collect a little bit of OT on your paycheck. But it sucks, man. It's like, dude, come on. Team effort. It's all team effort here. Everybody's got to be on the same page. <laughs> yes. Yes. All the time. So that's like, we've we've rolled out. It's not new. I don't want to say it's new technology, but it's recent. And nobody really knows how to work it. Nobody's like a master at working it, right? Some people know how to work it. Get in there and you work it. And... Uh, yeah, it sucks. But like the, CEO, the the people who work in the central offices out in the field, they don't know how to work it and they don't care to work it. They've been with the company for 20 years and they're like, shit, man, I'm about to retire. 
I ain't learning nothing new. So the whole time you're battling this, this tech who doesn't want to work. And you're like, dude, I can't drive out there. You know, I'm in Richmond. You're in freaking Annapolis or something. I can't drive up there and do it for you. You know, dude, you're in Charles Street, Baltimore, CO. I can't drive up there and change this card out for you. You need to do it. So it sucks when, you know, your job relies so heavily upon other people doing their jobs. But, oh well. Anyway. Nobody comes to these things to listen to me bitch about working. I got a couple minutes left. Heading back into the heading back in now. I'll probably do another one of these sometimes this afternoon. What's my plans on day zero? I gotta pick up Zach uh, Christolic from the airport, and I gotta pick up Will That's Who from the train station. And I've requested or I asked a bunch of performers if they wanted to have a little day zero set. So Kenny. Uh, d and &E and Emeralds, you know, Bless Pockets are going to do a set, Tetra Case, or just Mega Flare, uh, Ben Briggs and IQ. They're all going to play some sets Wednesday night. So I just need a place to do it. So if you guys get your stage, stage set up early, let me know. We'll come have a jam session on day zero on the, on the, on the uh, Mega Marathon stage. No, I'm just playing. I'm not going to crash your shit. I know you guys work super hard on that, so. But MAGFest told me that as long as I could find, uh, nope, MAGFest told me, they said, if you can find a corner where you're not in the way of people setting up, you can do whatever you want. They said, as long as you're out of the way, we don't really care. And I'm like, that's all I needed to hear. So I know Ben Briggs did a day zero set last year on the chip tune, I mean the uh, chip space stage, but I don't have any connects there. Um, oh, hey, man, tell him to get in contact with me. Maybe we can just merge these two parties together. Because Kenny said he's bringing his stuff, so. Anyway, I got to get back on the clock. Tweet at me. Hit me. I'll see you all later. Peace.